Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 14th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day. Got this morning fairly early, got around with the puppies, got them all taken care of, got outside, jumped in the hot tub, got the dogs fed, um, had to keep them separate, all that good fun stuff that's involved in it. Was able to get a couple of little things done around there, got the hot tub, um, wife got off to work got a couple things from the house just plant the dogs outside mostly getting a few things here and there have myself a nice little cigar enjoying the cooler weather because the heat is a coming still it is definitely by far still summer here in Florida so went ahead um, from there got done with that had a um, dog that was getting picked up and then another dog getting picked up actually so I had two dogs going home today and the one was supposed to get picked up at like two and then was going to get picked up at like five so I reached out to a gentleman yesterday, actually day before, Monday, it was Monday, and um, had a bunch of records, a bunch of 45s, like 900 um, 45s, and a record player they were trying to sell as a combo. And I'm like, oh, I need to hear it work. That's the biggest thing. I'm after the record player more than a record, and I think the records are worth more than the record player is. So it's kind of a weird, we're not really sure we're buying the exact same thing from each other, though the same stuff is there. So. And I told him, I said, hey, can I come see this thing Wednesday? Because you know, Wednesday after I dropped off, or picked up the one dog, I'd have a gap before the dog goes home. I'd have time to run up and get, you know, get her done. And they said, yeah, what time? And I said, should be about two o'clock, but won't know exactly. And I'm like, no big deal. So they're like, yep, no problem. I'm like, I will not head up your way. It's like an hour. I will not head up your way until I hear back from you. So when I know I'm free, I'll reach out and you need to be able to hear back to me. Basically kind of saying, Give me a cell phone number if because this messenger thing you're not gonna check it you're not gonna see it in time and then my window is gonna be gone so they're like okay whatever i said should be about two o'clock so about 1 30 rolls around and went 40 something like that it was i got a text from the people going hey we're on my back it looks like two o'clock should be a thing i'm like cool not a big deal so i reached out to them said hey they're supposed to be picking the dogs up about two o'clock so looks like it should be a thing i should be able to um basically get up there and get the records if you're there and no reply two o'clock rolls around people pick the dog up 205 or so i text back out going hey i'm free i need to run up there if you're there i need to come up but i'm not kind up to hear from you again reassure that and again nothing no response and it's like you gotta be shitting me so i sit in a little big one they're gonna well they thought it was about two o'clock they thought i'd be at three so i'm like i'll give it to like 215 or so whatever Nothing, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Get their dog, I'm like, God, this sucks. I was supposed to go home at five o'clock. Put me in that weird window of not having time to get up there and get back. And if they get here early, now I'm out of town with their dog. And that's kind of weird. I'm like, oh, just wait in my driveway for 45 minutes while I come home, whatever. And then give you back your dog. It's kind of strange. So, which everybody's supposed to reach out and let me know before they head this way for that exact purpose. But most people don't, or they'll tell me when they're on their way kind of thing. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. Wait around, said hell that gave up, said piss something back across the street to work on the house again. Because I was going to take a break from working on the house. Got my knee pads and thing all back on it, get everything ready to go. And literally, just I nailed down to put in the first or the next board, I get the message from Messenger saying, Yeah, I'm home, come on up. I'm like, so I text back going, Nope, can't, man. Like, it's now, it's three o'clock. Like, it's ridiculous how long this took. Like, you've had an hour and a half since I first texted you, and then an hour since I told you I was going to be free. I would have already been there by now, and I don't have time at this point because I gotta get a dog back at five. So I was like, whatever. So I continued working on the house for a while and got a little bit late in that. It wasn't that big a deal. And then I basically reached out, like, hey, just checking, ETA, whatever, would think when you're gonna pick the dog up. And then no response. I'm like, oh, it's getting kind of weird time. Usually they're pretty good about this kind of stuff. And then I get a response back that their flight got delayed. And, couple other things going on stuff it's gonna be late i'm like okay not a big deal let me know and normally depending on how the hell it's gonna be i'm like hey just pick the dog up tomorrow morning not a big deal because i watch the dog enough and the dog is a good dog and no big deal and i can pick it up tomorrow morning but i know the husband's been traveling quite a bit and he was actually kind of even upset to give the dog away his last time when they headed out because he had to head back out and he got to see the dog so little and i know he's gonna want to see that dog as soon as possible so i'm like okay yeah i'll work with this so they end up being like 840 or some junk they finally got here which had i known it was gonna be this late i could have ran up and got the records after three o'clock when i heard back from them so but 
it is what it is. So I told him, I said, I'll try and reach out tomorrow. We'll see what happens with the records thing. Who cares? But went ahead, ended up having um, leftover pork chop with pineapple and had like a real jelly type, the glaze, so they caramelized the juices, I assume, off the, off the pineapple, whatever. It was really good. Didn't do any sides or nothing. I just wasn't feeling sides. I was just like, oh, it's going to be pineapple um, flavored pork chop. That's what I had for dinner. Watched a little NCIS. Everything was good there. Headed back outside. Um, had myself a nice little cigar. Chilled out with the dogs outside and waited for the pup to come get picked up. And they picked the dog up. Everything went smoothly. Perfectly fine. But right now in the evening at that point, I didn't have any dogs in the house besides Bruce. And it felt weird because I've been having so many dogs here lately again. I went there for a little bit. I didn't have any because it's a trip back to Iowa and a bunch of the stuff got overlapped my cruise and the trip to Iowa and just had a bunch of overlaps that were my schedule didn't match their schedules and it would become a thing where if it don't overlap they're like well I guess I don't need it for that whole week or whatever we thought it was two days it didn't overlap kind of thing so but it takes a little while to get it back full up again so and it's just everything's kind of a little slow right now with school starting back up and just a lot of the trips are canceling out because a lot of the trips were massively trying to get the last trip in right before school started and whatnot so it is what it is but yeah Overall, um, dog went home, everything's great there. Ended up finishing my cigar outside and headed back in, had myself some chips and salsa. Don't eat chips and salsa as much as I used to. I used to really enjoy chips and salsa. Then I kind of stopped doing it for a while. And then I got to eating watermelon for like three months there. Almost every night I had a watermelon for dinner, for dessert, as I went to bed. And I got super sick on it and haven't touched watermelon since then. And I threw away like a watermelon and a half and didn't care because was not eating that it'll be a while before i eat watermelon again kind of had a craving for it um yesterday but then i thought about it for an extra minute thought now i'm good i'm not ready for that yet so it is what it is but yeah that's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching